This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to our show, Heartbeat Live. I'm your host, Ray Orosa. Magkakapiling tayo dito. Meron tayong mga pag-uusapan na uh, matagal na nating dapat talagang talakay. You know, it's time to get off our big butts and, and deal with this issue. Square. Isa gabi pong ito, inanyahan natin dito uh, parang ating guest dito. Wala nang iba po kundi si Congresswoman Amy De Jesus. Siya po ay representante sa ating kongreso. Uh, ng Gabriele Women's Party. It's time for us to listen <laughs> to some of the more bold and uh, 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 empowered women of our country. Uh, they have many, many thoughts about many issues, but tonight we will specialize on one issue. Makikinig tayo at gusto rin namin makadinig mula sa inyo po. Tungkol sa issue, dapat pa tayong magkaroon ng divorcio dito sa ating pamilya. At siguro ang mga views dito will depend kung masaya ka sa asawa mo <laughs> o malungkot ka sa asawa mo. Siguro, ewan ko ba, tingin mo ba dito, uh -huh. nakakarami yung malungkot <laughs> o nakakarami yung masaya? Ano po yan eh, kasi with the objective realities uh -huh. that our society are now in, talagang napansin namin, ito yung mga realidad na nakaka-apekto na talaga sa marriage. Kaya yung pagkilala natin na ang marriage ay dapat mayroong sangkap ng pagmamahalan, ng respeto, ng suporta. Dahil po doon sa iba't ibang kalagayan, na nawawala na yan. Alam mo, uh, Ate Emmy, you, you, we romanticize marriage. Mm. <laughs> I will love you forever. As if. <laughs> As if, no? As if, walang, ano, walang mga bagay na... Pero ang sabi ko nga eh, it can be worked out. It uh -huh. can be worked out. Pero katulad po nung mga lumalapit sa amin ngayon, ano, na majority ay quote and quote uh, into a very irreparable marriage dahil biktima sila ng uh, battering, ng emotional, well, physical. Let's, let's talk of these two things. No? Mm. Problems within the marriage. Mm -mm. And then the other one, is dealing with the reality na meron ng iba. Ah, uh, yeah. Kailan. Diba? <laughs> oh! Kasi yung tinatawag mo like battering, yung, hmm. yung pananakit ng asawa. Physical yan, physical. Physical. Uh -oh. Now, the only one thing that in that part that I'm not very sure of is when they talk about it in terms of emotional, emotional. violence. Uh -oh. What? How do you define that? Uh -oh. Kung nagalit ako, nagmura ako. Uh -oh. Actually, kami po, kahit doon sa sexual harassment, ang um, pagkilala namin, when the woman, no, or as a matter of uh, within the relationship, pwede namang yung husband eh, ang makafeel ng uh, violence, no? Mm -hmm. Yung magiging determining factor, how the victim, no, felt, no, about what the partner did to her, no, or him, for that matter. Kasi halimbawa po, ano, yung kahit na yung pahiyain ka, partner mo, no? Um, ang dami namin cases na ganito, emotional battering ang tawag namin eh. Pahiyain ka dun sa harap ng mga kaibigan nila. Oh, itong misis ko, after 10 years, mukha nang lumba-lumba, pangit-pangit na. Yung pong ganun, uh, the, which made the partner felt. Uh -oh. so, well, ano, you're, no? you're dealing with the idea at maraming lalaki, wala talagang modo at bastos. 
ha, at ng lalait, sanay mang lait. Pero you know, if you study that psychologically, on the part of a man, you will, you will, you will uh, encounter hmm. that some of the reasons of the, quote, emotional buttoning is the dysfunction of the man. Hmm. In other words, ang karanasan niya sa buhay hmm. ay binabasa ng katakot-takot na tingin niya pwede lang siyang maging macho, bida, macho <laughs> pagka meron siyang dinidiin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yan nga po, uh, uh, culture has a lot to do. No? Yung ganong uh -huh. kaisipan na ang tingin nila, lalo na sa partnership, no? in a marriage, pag-aari, property, ang tingin na nila doon sa asawa nila. Kaya, sabi nga namin, uh, why file a bill? No? Addressing the issue of somebody sa tingin niya ay may karapatan siyang pumasok sa isang kontrata ng marriage mm. at doon sa loob ng relasyon na yon ay nagkaroon ng irreparable uh, na problema kasi may mga problema namang repairable eh bakit hindi kilalanin ng estado na siya ay lumabas doon sa marriage na yon you know i sometimes think that is not really the issue mm. because we already have divorce in the philippines through annulment no mm. Before. <laughs> no, we have divorce in the mm. Philippines if you're a Muslim. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you, that's how... Okay. Oh, Do they... When, oh, eh. when, they when, when, you, when you apply for a divorce, kanya iba mm. mga lalaki, nagmumuslim para makagaroon ng pangalawang asawa. Kaya nga po, pati, yung, pati yung Sharia law, nakukurat eh. Okay, whether, that, whether eh. that's Sharia law or whatever, mm. the point that I'm trying to mm. drive at is that Nobody really looks at why a woman is divorced or a man is divorced hmm. from his wife under uh, Muslim uh, yeah. tradition. Uh -oh. And sa akin dito, why can we not offer the same remedy yeah. mm -mm. to another Filipino without making it a religious matter? Yun nga. <laughs> dito, dito ko nakikita kasi uh -oh. ang isang bagay na kailangan din natin tingnan ng maliwanag. The state Uh, it's not a religious organization. Precisely. It's mm -hmm. a civil organization, mm -hmm. and its task is to ensure that the people under the law or under the government all have the opportunity mm -hmm. for their own happiness and to seek their own future. And if they are tied up in a relationship that is so limiting, that it becomes detrimental, nakakasama sa kanilang sariling pagkatao, may wala kang karapatan, mm. hindi pa yan ganyan. Uh -oh. And in fact, it is happening without benefit of law, mm -mm. na nag-ihiwala yan yan, at saka nagkipagtalik sa ibang tao. Y yun nga po yung... Ang ano, lalaki at babae. Uh -oh. Kaya nga eh, hindi, hindi talaga maitatatwa ay, na yung realidad talaga ngayon, ang... Ang problema, no? Ang problema sa loob ng marriage ay eh, sandamakmak, ano? Sabi nga na, and in fact, dito nga sa bill namin, mabait pa, quote and quote, no? Pagkilala rin dun sa tradisyon ng Pilipino, how we appreciate marriage, ano? Mm -hmm. Ibig sabihin, kung irreparable at may katinuan pang natitira, no? Doon sa uh, partner, uh, Bibigyan pa ng puwang eh. Tayo nagbibigay pa ng puwang eh. We always make uh, rooms for improvement eh. Pero yung aming bill, sinasabi namin, dapat kilalanin talaga ng Estado, no? At tama yung sinabi nyo, sinama namin doon sa aming explanatory note. Mm -hmm. Bakit ang Muslim uh, pinapayagan? Why discriminate against uh, those who, who do not have the, ano, no? Muslim religion. Kaya, isang point po yan, malaking point yun, na talagang ang tingin namin ay mali. <laughs> kaya, At hindi kaya, ibig sabihin niya na mag-Muslim man tayong lahat. Definitely not. Oo, Oo, hindi yan. Kasi in fact nga, eh, ang dami namin kilala na Muslim lawyers. Ah, nakakatuwa po, may isang organization ng Muslim women who are now doing lobby work para ipasa ito at isa sa mga leader nila ay lawyer. At pinapakita talaga niya how even uh, the Muslim tradition is being corrupted. Kasi yun nga, hmm. pagka gusto nang mag-asawa ng dalawa or <laughs> gusto nang mag-convert, no? mag-convert na sa 
pagiging mm-hmm. Muslim. Kaya, and doon naman sa annulment, sabi ko nga, eh, isa pa ito, corrupted na corrupted na rin yung uh, But before legal. We go, before mm-hmm. we go ahead, mm-hmm. I want to remind all of those who are watching, mm-hmm. it does not mean that I recommend divorce for anybody. Of course. Okay, that's Uh-oh. an individual Uh-oh. choice. What Uh-oh. I am talking about simply Uh-oh. is that we cannot deny to part of the population what we are willing Mm-mm. to give to a minority. Tama. It does not make sense. It's inconsistent. Mm-mm. Number three, if the government wants to provide a better basis to handle, kasi pagka nagkasira ng relasyon, di ba, mm. uh, Aten? Pagka nagkasira lang, hindi ko trabaho na e, ayusin ano yan. Oo. Kanilang trabaho at obligasyon yan. Mm. Now, pwede mo sabihin that and this can be part of the divorce law. Mm. O, gusto mo mag-divorsyo? Uh, okay. Pero, can you undergo six months of counseling? With a psychiatrist mm-hmm. or a psychologist mm-hmm. of your choice, mm-hmm. and uh, see what they will say about the condition of the relationship. Mm-hmm. In other words, it is to prevent whimsical divorce. Of oh, oh. Although even whimsical divorce, we don't care about because in the Muslim uh, tradition, nobody Walang cares. Mo. All they have uh. to do is say, "I divorce you, I divorce uh. you, I divorce you." That's it. Mm-hmm. Nobody looks into it. Why? Because personal and individual preferences you cannot look into. Mm. In fact, sabi nga namin, uh, may respect pa rin tayo sa kultura eh. Kaya doon sa ano rin namin, dadaan talaga sa, sa court. And I think counseling would be part of the role, ano, nung uh, court. But, but is that part of, yung sinasabi mo kasi mm. only in annulment. But is this part of uh, the law that you are suggesting uh, or that you have filed in Congress? Uh, magiging thorough po ang, kasi ang ayaw nga namin, laging ang binabrand sa atin, yung divorce Hollywood style eh. As if naman, ano, masyado nating, masyadong ganong kadali rin sa atin, ano? Does it uh, matter? You know. If you think that any, if we have a divorce law, that all of them are going to be really the, a, a broken down mm. relationship. Uh, what are you going to do with people that are nothing? <laughs> huh? And that are not, yung bang tao na, or lalaki, or babae na, talaga, you cannot deal with them. Uh, they are so dysfunctional. Uh, huh? uh, and the law of psychological incapacity, on annulment uh, and psychological incapacity, walang kinalaman doon because that deals with the period prior to marriage. Yun yung Not ayaw namin. Yun ang ayaw namin oh. doon sa existing uh, annulment. Kasi parang ang, ang recognition noong psychological uh, incapacity was during the ceremony of the oh. wedding. When in fact, eh kung limang taon naman naging masaya kayo, pero may nangyaring malaking malaking oh. problema. But people can deteriorate. Uh, yeah, oo. People can change. O kaya, naubligang uh, forced to go abroad. Talaga. And after some time, yan po, maraming OFW talaga, yan ang problema eh. Na five years, wala na. Eh bakit nga ba naman hindi pa natin wakasan itong marriage na ito? May stigma patuloy sila na, mm-hmm. ano ba yan, abandonada, etc. No? Pinabayaan. And most of the time, the women get the blame for everything. Oh, before we go ahead, uh, we have a... Pause for a few reminders. Wag kayo mawawala. We'll be right back. Ah, okay. <laughs>